Since its opening in 1990, the Samuel P. Harn Museum of Art has been enriching the lives of the people of Lachua County and the state of Florida and the nation. The Harn is known for its stunning, innovative, and stimulating exhibitions and programs. Now well into its second decade, it continues to inspire and educate our community by providing the opportunity to experience great works of art. Art is absolutely essential to human experience. It can help people understand better the human condition, the nature of human creativity. The Samuel P. Harn Museum of Art is a shrine to our creativity, spanning generations, cultures, and continents. Right now we're standing in the Coffrin Pavilion. The full name is the Mary Ann Harn Coffrin Pavilion. Mary Ann was a Harn originally, that's her maiden name. And uh, that is also the name of our museum, the Samuel P. Harn Museum of Art. It's named for Mary Ann's father who was a local civic leader here in Gainesville. This is uh, where we have been featuring for the last three years our contemporary collection. And this contemporary collection includes art from the United States, Latin America, Europe, Africa, and Asia. So it is truly international in scope. And the pavilion also allows the Harn to display art that is grander in scope. You need a big room for a lot of contemporary art because contemporary artists frequently like to work on a very large scale, such as the sculpture behind me by a Nigerian-based artist named Ellen Atsui. At this moment that I'm talking, you can probably only see a, a portion of it, but when you see the entire object, you'll see that it's, it's quite large and uh, it looks flexible, it is flexible. It hangs on the wall rather like a piece of cloth and in fact the name of it is Old Man's Cloth because it was inspired in part by textiles from Ghana in West Africa. The Harn has an impressive African art collection including a sizable concentration of West African art complemented by the work of African artists in the contemporary art collection. The Harn is also known for its Asian art collection. It's grown to the point that we need more space. We are very excited that we'll be adding a new uh, wing with more Asian galleries so that we can show a larger portion of our Asian collection. That wing is expected to see completion in 2010, but some of the art, which could soon be showcased in the new wing, is on display now. We're standing in a small exhibition that is drawn 100% from the Harn Museum of Art's Asian art collection. And everything in this exhibition has to do with Hindu religious traditions and how they are manifested in the visual arts. The piece behind me is a temple cloth and it would have been um, displayed in a Hindu temple on special religious occasions to inspire the faithful and to teach them and inspire their devotion to certain deities of the Hindu faith. Um, what's particularly exciting about this temple cloth is that um, as far as we know, it had never been exhibited in the Harn Museum before. The modern collection comprises about 1,000 works of American, European, and Latin American art from the mid-19th to mid-20th century, including works by Hale Woodruff, Georgia O'Keeffe, Theodore Robinson, Pablo Picasso, and Salvador Dali. One piece in the collection is particularly well known in the community and around the world. Behind me is perhaps the best known painting in the Harn collection, at least among our local audiences. This is our painting called Field of Oats or Champ d'Avoine by Claude Monet, the French Impressionist painter. Um, I think if people in the Gainesville area know one thing about the Harn Museum of Art and our collections, they know that we have this masterpiece by Claude Monet. It's a very well-loved painting and uh, it is the first major European work of art to enter our modern collection. The Harn also boasts an impressive photography collection, currently exhibiting the renowned Gainesville photographer Maggie Taylor's Almost Alice collection, inspired by Lewis Carroll's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. They look like paintings. The texture is so rich and the detail is so intricate. You can't believe that it's not a, a multi-layered painting. Maggie is a true master of using digital imagery manipulated on a computer to create original photographs. Uh, with many, many layers of imagery. As striking and captivating as all of these magnificent works of art may be, there is still one piece that towers above them all, literally.
It was a gift to us from a collector in Miami named Marty Margulies. It's called a hammering man and it is gigantic. It's about 25 feet high. It's made of core tin steel. We had to move it in with a massive crane because it's very, very heavy. This is what we call a kinetic sculpture. It's on a timer and uh, we have it running eight hours a day. A good working man, he works an eight hour day. And um, he is always hammering away to symbolize the contributions that working people make to our country, our economy, and to the world through the labor of their hands. And also a tribute to the imagination of the artists. The Samuel P. Harn Museum is free to the public and open Tuesday through Sunday. For more information on upcoming exhibitions, visit www.harn.ufl.edu or call 352-392-9826. For County Update, I'm Alan Yetter.